An in-depth look at how each of these statewide races played out in each parish. Let's turn it over to WWL political analyst Clancy DeVoe. Thank you, Whitney. Uh, I'm looking right now at the race for attorney general. Now pay close attention to this map because it's not going to change much as we look at each of the three statewide races. This is the race for attorney general. You can see Liz Morrow with just under 67 percent. You see the breakdown by parishes. Red is the Republican vote for Morrow. Uh, the parishes that voted for Morrow, who's a Republican. Blue are the parishes that voted for Lindsey Cheek, the Democrat. And right now, Morrow is winning by slightly more than two to one. And that's the kind of odds you're going to see as we go through all three races. And if you look at where did the Democrat do well, it's predictable. New Orleans, uh, the River Parishes, in this case, St. John the Baptist Parish, uh, along then the Delta Parishes. Tensaw Parish and East Carroll Parish. And of course, way over in Shreveport, that's Cattle Parish. These are areas with high concentrations of African American voters. Now, looking at, looking at the next race for Secretary of State, notice not much changes. It's, uh, yeah, we are looking at the runoff and we're looking at totals. I want to make sure we're looking at totals here. Nope, nope, that's not it either. Runoff. Okay, Secretary of State total. And you're seeing the, the same ones that is, it should be blue, but it's in white. Basically the same parishes except for uh, Tensaw Parish. But other than that, it's the same story. A um, landslide for the Republican candidate, in this case Nancy Landry, with again two to one, slightly more than two to one over her Democratic opponent. And in the treasurer's race, the same story. Not quite two to one, but it's over 65% for the Republican. The same parishes voting for Democrat and all the others voting Republican. Now compare that very briefly to the governor's results in October, and you're going to see not much else changing. In this case, it's green for Democrat, but it's, it's Orleans Parish, some of the river, one of the river parishes, East Baton Rouge, and East Carroll. Same story. A um, landslide for the Republican leader. And as we now look at all of these races, I'm going to get back to uh, get back to the Attorney General's race for just a second, so we get to the runoff races. And as we look through them, Attorney General, Secretary of State, Treasurer. Same story. Republicans now control all seven of the statewide offices in Louisiana. This is not a surprise, folks. This has been coming for decades, and it's the culmination of highly organized efforts by the Republican Party. And frankly, the Democratic Party in Louisiana is pretty much on life support system. Nobody can say it's dead, but it is definitely on life support. And in the next few months, a lot of people expect to see a shakeup in the leadership of the Democratic Party in Louisiana. Whitney, back.